Have you ever wondered if the fog or hazer that you use has an effect on the look of your scene? We did too. We tested seven different hazers and fog machines to see if there's any visible difference in the look of the atmosphere that they created. We wanted to put each machine on a level playing field. To do this, we filled one of our warehouses with haze. We kept the level of the haze consistent. We kept all the camera and lens settings locked off, so we had exactly the same white balance setting for each shot, and no color correction was added in post. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results. The first machine we looked at was the Unique Hazer by Look Solutions. We found that the Unique Hazer provides a nice, soft, diffused haze. It has a slight pull towards orange, as you can see in the vectorscope. Overall, the Unique Hazer provides a fairly neutral, soft, and diffused look to scenes. Next up is the Antari 515D fog machine. The first thing you can see is a strong push towards blue. It's immediately obvious in the image here, and you can see that shift clearly in the vectorscope. The Haze Produce also looks to add more contrast and definition to the light beams. It's a really interesting look. You can see also how it really enhances the look of lasers. Next up is the Lemaitre G300 fog machine. We use the fog machine in haze mode with C-beam haze fluid. The haze also has a slight shift towards blue, but not quite as much as the Antari. The G300 also created nice sharp light rays and added some nice definition to the laser light scene. Next up is the Lemaitre Haze Master. This machine is a beast. If you need to fill a stage, theater, or arena quickly, the Haze Master is the way to go. It was able to fill up our warehouse in just three minutes, the fastest of any of the machines that we tested. The Haze Master also produced one of the most neutral hazes of the machines that we tested. You can see that it's right in the middle of the vectorscope. The Haze Master creates a nice, soft, even haze and atmosphere. Next up is the Ultratech Radiance Hazer. The Ultratech also had a nice neutral look. Towards the edges of the light beam, it does start to create a slight blue look, which I find really interesting. Looking at the vector scope, you can see a very slight push towards blue and cyan. The look of the haze is less contrasty than the G300 or Antari. Overall, the Ultratech Radiance created a well-balanced, soft haze. Next is the Lemaitre MVS Hazer. The MVS produced a nice, soft, general-purpose atmosphere. It has a slight shift towards orange, as you can see in the vectorscope. The MVS has an interesting sweeping feature that distributes the haze. Overall, I feel like the MVS has a nice, soft, even look, great for general atmospheric haze. Last up is the Look Solutions Viper Fog Machine. We discovered something very interesting about this machine. The fog output level determined the color of the haze produced. With the machine set to 60% output, it was a clear shift towards orange. With the output set to 90%, it was a clear shift towards blue. Very interesting result. The overall look of the haze is a soft, diffused look, great for creating depth in your shots. If you want to read more about the tests we conducted, check out our blog post. I'll link to that in the description below. And for more information on the individual machines that were tested, I'll include links to the product pages in the description below. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. We'd also love to hear about your experiences with fog and haze. Thanks for watching.